What's going on everybody? It's Tony from Converse. Welcome you back to another Monday. But this normally would be a Monday mail call, but since I only have one Monday mail call left in the pipe, I'm going to save it for next week. So what instead, I'm going to show you everything I picked up for May 4th, which was free comic book day. And for me, I picked up three weeks worth of new comic book day pickups as well. So uh, yeah, we got a couple big bags here. And so we're going to roll that intro and we're going to get right down to business. Like I said in the intro, I'm going to show off for this Monday everything I picked up on May 4th for New Comic Book Day. I went to two places in Jonesboro, the first being B&B Collections and the second being the Rose Gallery. Both are excellent places to go get comics and uh, if you're in the Jonesboro area, go check them out. They got some pretty cool deals. So, let's... Uh, I'm going to put these free comic book deck stuff to the side first, because I'm going to do all that together. Or try to. Anyway. So I'll be bouncing back and forth. So first off, I have a couple of books I'm going to show you. I went through the dollar bins, and I mistakenly, the first one I got was Fathom. Now, in the last show, when I was showing it off, I said it was Fathom number one. It's not. It's Michael Turner's Fathom Collected Editions number one. And this is the first Michael Turner cover I have in my collection. I have zero Michael Turner until I got this one. So I figured it's a nice cover. I figured I'd pick that up. I like that. So, yep, I put that in the PC. Other dollar book I got was Uncanny X Men issue 372. I just got it because it was the next one in line. I have a run from 170 to 370 or 371, something like that. Anyway, this is. The next one, it was a buck, so I figured I'd pick it up. Now, I actually went with a go because in my live shows, I've been talking about Conan 9, the new Conan that was from Titan, where he is fighting Call the Conqueror, and it made me start wondering whether or not they had done it in the past. So I went and used Google and found two books. One I can't remember, which may be the first time they met. Well, this might be the first time they met. Hell, I don't know. Gary, if you could tell me. Which comic is the first meeting between Conan the Barbarian and Cole? I would greatly appreciate it. But the one I did pick up, I made this a, a, like a little private go that I achieved was Conan the Barbarian issue 68. Got this for a really good price from DMV Collections. That is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to reading this. And the rest are new, is basically new stuff that I picked up. I got the uh, full version of Crisis on Infinite Earth number one. I actually have the entire set first prints and I'm going to start working on getting some of those clean and pressed. I'm actually flirting with the idea just a little bit of a time just doing like four, the first four issues getting clean and pressed and getting the whole series submitted. So uh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to probably, like I said, do it with the Secret Wars. I may collect the whole set. Now the next one, I made a mistake. I tried to order these on FOC and I screwed up and I ordered I didn't know about the red band when I made the order, and then by the time I made the order, it was too late, but I got Blood Hunt number one, which is the new crossover that kicked off the Marvel, and I'm looking forward to reading this. Basically, the Marvel superheroes are fighting vampires, the vampire nation, and I'm thinking that might be pretty cool. I'm hoping it is anyways. Next up, I bought two copies of this, don't know why, but this is the facsimile reprint of Uncanny X-Men 130, first appearance of Dazzler. And I bought the regular edition. And I got the foil. Like I said, I, I intentionally meant to get the foil. For some reason, I've got, gotten to where I pick up these facsimiles and get the foils instead. But I guess I didn't pay attention, and I guess I ordered the other one as well. I may keep it. I may put it in the giveaway box. Who knows? Next up, Ultimate Spider-Man 4. Been really enjoying this series. Really great written and drawn sort of series where we're talking about a grown Peter Parker you know married with Mary Jane has some kids and he gets his powers late in life but uh, it's still been a really good series and I highly recommend it another ultimate Black Panther number three I'm stated in the live show Saturday that I'm not a Black Panther guy I've never really gotten into the character you know when you I've got a few issues where he popped up as a guest star in Avengers or West Coast Avengers or Spider-Man or whatnot. But 
ever since I started reading this one with issue one, this series has really got me. I really love it. And I am in it for the long haul. Next up, we got a Puppeteer Lee cover of King Spawn. I believe this is. Yep, issue 33. I'm still collecting all the Spawn for now. Really enjoying the storyline with the effects from uh, Spawn 350. Everybody's lost their powers. It's been pretty good. Speaking of more Spawn, we got Spawn 352. Once again, like I said, collecting all these Spawn. Really enjoy it so far. It's a really nice cover as well. New series from the Spawn universe. This is Salmon Twitch Case Files number two. Now, for me and a lot of people, the lettering could use could be better. But the story, I enjoy the story, and I'm on the fence about keeping it. I may give it a couple more issues, but this may actually be the first Spawn title I actually drop. I don't know. We'll see. Because to be honest, and Dirt's going to kill me when I say this, I wasn't a big fan of Rat City either. Next up from Image, we got Cobra Commander number four. I believe issue five will be the last of this series where he is trying to get some energon from the dreadnoughts and it looks like he's fixing to have to do battle with the nemesis enforcer so very solid series i really like it now another limited series based on gi joe and the energon universe this one wrapped up this was duke number five this was a really great series he was framed he's trying to clear his name he's being hunted by his friends and they say there's a shocking end ending. Your character shows up at the end. It's shocking. I don't know what it is. I haven't read it. So I'm looking forward to reading that. From uh, Comic Tom and Fire Guy Ryan, I got Crash Down number three. This has been a really great series as well. And you should be reading this. This is pretty cool. And uh, Comic Tom and Ryan have written a really great story. I believe it may be four or five issues, but I am in this for the long haul. All right. Next up. As I mentioned, this is Conan the Barbarian, issue number 10, continuing that story where Conan is dealing with Cole the Conqueror. He went back to the past and is dealing with... Uh, they fought in the last issue, and whether they team up or not, I don't know, but I'm looking forward to reading this, because Conan has been one of my top favorite books to read lately. And the last ones, as far as the new books from uh, D&D Collections, I got something that's killing the children issue 36 this was a as soon as i seen this cover i had to get it this is an art journal cover and i had to get it i mean the cover speaks for itself i absolutely love that cover and i actually had the opportunity to get two but i just got one i didn't want to get greedy so let's see now i'm going to show you the free comic book stuff i got from bnb collections not all of these are for me most of them are. so i heard some people talk about this so i picked up this stories from the atlas comics library and i believe it's just some like it says it's stories from when marvel was atlas comics before they became marvel that should be pretty cool from uh, mad cave celebrating their 10th anniversary we got flash gordon i love flash gordon Been a big fan of the movie i don't think i've ever read a flash gordon comic so that would just be pretty cool now the next one i got it just because i'm big fan of both video game franchises and that is Street Fighter vs. Final Fight. I don't think I've ever read a comic featuring either one of them. So, that's going to be pretty cool. And yeah, I've got some, these are, I have no bags and boards for these and I've got some orders so when they come in I'll get them bagged and board. I, I got this one just for the cover and it's been a while since I've seen a Mad Magazine, much less a Mad Magazine comic. But it's the Free Comic Book Day Mad with Superman on the cover. That is a pretty funny cover. I like that. And another one I got just because, because people are talking about it from Valiant Comics, it's The Valiants. I'm figuring this is probably like a, uh, I don't know really what it is, but uh, maybe they're trying to do some kind of open-ended world like they're doing with Ghost Machine or whatnot. But I'll check it out and we'll see if it's worth the read. And another one I got was, and I don't know why I got this one, just because maybe I like Popeye. But maybe this is a new take on the character from Marcus Williams in Massive Comics. But this is called I Lie Papa Number One. And I know nothing about it, but I like the cover. It looks pretty cool. And I'm looking forward to reading something with Papa. Papa has been a cultural phenomenon forever. So that's pretty cool. 
We have the worlds of James Tinian or Tinian the Fourth. Mostly got this because of something's killing the children, and I don't know what the rest of this is going to be, but I'm gonna check it out. Free comic book day, Conan the Barbarian. Battle of the Blackstone. Apparently this is some kind of event that Titan's fixing to do. And if I'm not mistaken, this may or may not have something to do with the ooze that's been going on in the regular series. I may be wrong. But yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to reading this and I'll probably collect this story as well. Now one of the big books, uh, they say there's like two or three, maybe four really big books that I got from Trans or from uh, Image and it's part of the Energon universe was this one. Love the Megatron cover. That thing is awesome. And I know next week on Wednesday they're releasing a copy that you have to pay for. I don't know if it's going to be different. I know it's going to have different covers, but I may pick one of those up just for the hell of it. Now the rest of these I picked up for my daughter. Because I'm always trying to pick up stuff for my daughter or my uh, nephew. I got her a Pokemon. She loves anime, so I got her one piece. And then we got Romeo versus Juliet. I may actually flip through this, but uh, I think this is something that she might be interested in. That's everything I picked up from B&B &B Collection, so let's, uh, let me show you what I got from the Rose Gallery. All right, like I said, these are just some, a few things I picked up from the Rose Gallery over on Marketplace in Jonesboro. I got a few books for my daughter again. I got one for my nephew. And, you know, like I said, you know, B&B um, &B wasn't able to get their Marvel, but Rose Gallery had it, so I was able to get a few of those. So we'll go ahead. I'm going to do something. I'll, I'll do it different this time. I'll go ahead and show you the free comic book day stuff first, and then I'll show you the other stuff I picked up. So this one's for my daughter, Initial D, another anime. I don't know if she's into it or not, but I figure she might like it. I know one that this one she's definitely going to be into, and that is Monster High. She is a big Monster High fan. She loves the dolls and everything. And when I showed it to her, she went, wait, is there a Monster High? Is that a Monster High comic? And I went, yep. So I know she's probably looking forward to reading that. This is the one I picked up from my nephew, which was Marvel Spidey and his amazing friends. He loves his stuff. He always likes it when Uncle Tony gets him some comics on free comic book day. May try to get him some more from the Marvel side if uh, I'm able to get some from B&B. &B. And IDW, I picked this up. It's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles free comic book day. And it says, who is the Night Watcher? Apparently this is a new TMNT character. They're fixing to start over. I know 150 was the end of the current series and they're fixing to start with a brand new number one. I have no idea about what the plot of the new series is gonna be, but you know, it'd be interesting. And with May the 4th being Star Wars Day, I picked up this Star Wars number one with this excellent Vader Luke cover. And I got Blood Hunt X Men number one, which is pretty cool. Like I said, I'm really looking forward to reading Blood Hunt. And I've never actually been excited for an uh, event in a long time, but you know. I like vampires, so we'll see. I'm, not, I'm just collecting the main series. I'm not collecting any of the times. And then we've got Spider-Man and Ultimate Universe. Sort of like a preview. It's a nice little thing up there for Amazing Spider-Man number 50. And maybe Norman's going back to his old self. And, and I dropped ASM a while back, and that really killed me. Because I just about don't care for the story. That's just me. And I picked up another Energy. Just for that. Four books I got. He held on to this one for four months when I ended my file due to bills a few months ago. This was the last thing to come in. He held on to this thing for four months. And when I walked through the doors, he said, dude, I got something for you. And that is Fright Night Issue 4. I've all but given up on this series. And it's not because of the story, because the story is great. It's the delivery. I believe issue one come out 20, 20, 21. Here it is, 2024, 20, and we got four issues. So the delivery schedule sucks. I'm just being honest. And it's made me not interested in collecting any more because, hell, you don't know when you're going to get the rest of them. But I went ahead and got this. I'll go ahead and pick up an issue three. And if there's an issue five, 
if it came out, I don't know. I'll go ahead and get it and just finish the set and then we'll do that. Later. But like I said, it's a great it's a great book, so I mean it is what it is. I see with this some variant covers, pick this up, the love star, it's a Star Wars, and I got this Django Pet number one. The photo movie photo cover. That is pretty cool. And I believe this is a one shot. Y'all can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. But I got this Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace Anniversary Special. Because this year is the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. I believe it features three new stories. One of them has to do with Anakin. And I follow on that. But I'll be looking forward to reading that. And the last thing that I picked up. Because I've heard a lot of people talk about the first print. And they had a second print there, and the cover was really popping. It's really nice black cover. And I went ahead and picked up Ultimate Universe number one, the second thing. That is a really bad S cover. I think the black outline just really makes this thing pop. And who knows, I may send this damn thing in and get it uh, graded just because of the way the cover looks. I mean, it's nice. It really is nice. And that's it. That's my free comic book day, new comic book day haul. Let me know what you think. Did I do good? Did I do bad? You know, a lot of stuff. Waiting for those bags to come in so I can bag some comics and board some comics. And uh, that's going to do it for this video. So everyone, thank you for watching. And everyone, be safe, take care, and God bless. See you.